It's a strange place. The world. Humanity. Sometimes I think about it. Like, really think. And it's fucking weird. I'm a pretty lucky guy myself. First, my father passed away. Been in prison for 12 years. And my mother spent 12 years waiting for him. Waiting to be a family again. Then the weirdest thing happens. Wasn't all bad, I guess. I got the house. I got the car. Yup. I had it all. Well. Almost. But I was working on that. Garrett. Xander. Let's make some money. How much money? Enough. Like it matters. Meet me at the gas station. Bring your tools. Xander and I are business partners, and right now business has been lucrative. Masks. This was our third day at work, and I'm thinking, I think we should start keeping track of this stuff. Hey, what the fuck? Don't fuck it! I like how you said to bring my tools. It was turning into the best of times. What the fuck? Dude, I swear to God. I had it, but two guys jumped me, I swear to God. 
Of course, we had to celebrate another successful day at work. It's not gonna be like that, man. It's not gonna be like Al Capone or fucking Scarface. I'm not worried, I just wanna know. I think we should keep a record. A paper trail is what you're saying. I just think it might be useful information to have in the future, okay? That's it. Listen, these guys were hitting their fucking retards, all right? They get what they got coming. I guess that sounds right. Worst case scenario, a guy gets whacked. Not us. Who's gonna track down two guys who just showed up out of nowhere? Xander had a way of putting my mind at ease. Okay, man. You're right. The brain's the operation. And the brawn. Well, I think it's time I hit the old dusty trail. Give me the cheapest beer you got. Sure. So, Naomi, what are you up to this weekend? This weekend? I'm not sure. What are you doing? Me and you are going to go out. How about that? Garrett, you know I have a boyfriend. It's okay. Just come out with me. We'll have some fun. Garrett, I can't. I'm sorry. I'll get you one of these days. You can try. Can I get a shot? You can. Do you want one, too? I really... Oh, come on. That's a yes. At least give me that. Okay. Okay, I suppose. Long life and happiness. Long life and happiness. To you. Good things come to those who wait. <clears throat> yep. Four fifty. Not bad for some man to fuck on the street. Not bad at all, my friend. I know that car. You know that car? People trying to put me down, asking what I do. I bump this beat while we go to McDonald's and someone to eat. Yo, it's always my house on the street. JFC, DMV, the most unique crew you will ever party with. Drive with, spend time with. So I Good to go? Here. What is this? Keep it down. I just want to check. Keep it down, put it in your pocket, and let's go. What is this? It's 500. You get five now and five when you get back. A thousand? For a job up in Clifton? Listen, you know who Seymour Moreno is? Seymour? I didn't know his first name was Seymour. What's in that bag, it belonged to him, and it's going to make us rich. What about Moreno? I don't think he's going to mind. He's dead. And when you get it, we can finally get out of here. And we're fucking blow. Nothing but sunshine. Hank works with him down at the deli. Gave him ride home once. Said he lives in the White House up on Camulet Street. How'd you get him to tell you that? Told him I was looking for some blow. You live alone? I don't know. What if Naomi's there? I didn't think of that. Your plan's really come together. Xander was right. It wasn't much of a plan at all. I didn't give a shit. It can't hurt the work. He was in my way. I'll call you. Listen, Naomi. Why don't let me in on this? You are in on this. Don't make me regret that.
calm the fuck down. And don't move. Don't fucking move. Back Shit. the fuck Put up. Put the gun down. Back the fuck up. I'm gonna kill you, fucking cocksucker. Don't, don't do anything stupid. Tom. Shut up. Put the gun down. Put the gun down. Shit! He shot at me, stupid son of a bitch! What the fuck? Shit, what the fuck? Let's go. Let's go! We're getting out of here. Wait, what about his, his fucking money? Let's go, now! Xander shot him. I watched him shoot Tyler, but I couldn't help but feel like I pulled the trigger. What the fuck, man? Jesus, what the fuck are we gonna do now? I had no choice. We shouldn't have killed him. We shouldn't have even been there. But we were there. And we fucking killed him. Fuck, man. I'm done. That's the last fucking job I'm ever gonna do. He fucking shot at me. What was I supposed to do? It. I could have been dead instead of him, and so would you. Blood on your finger. Jesus. <coughs> what are we gonna do, man? We killed him! What if someone heard the gunshot? We're fucked! We were wearing masks. Nobody saw anything. Nobody saw shit. The license plate on my car. Nobody saw shit. I'm fucking done, man. And so are you. I'm gonna go destroy the weapon. No weapon, no evidence. I don't know what I expected going to Tyler's house. In one way, I never meant for anything to happen. But in another, I knew. I think I knew from the start. Mike, how's it going? Not too bad. Better than this guy. Yeah, I can see that. Tyler Doggerty, age 25. Landlord called us this morning when he found out that the silent alarm was tripped last night. The silent alarm, ladies and gentlemen. What uh, time? 2.41. Forensic should be here soon enough. You wouldn't mind babysitting Tyler here for a bit, would you? As long as I can grab a smoke first. nostalgia. Yeah. Talk about nostalgia. We're basically adults and we still live across the street from each other. Yeah, right? I mean, certainly something. Hey, you still want to go out tonight? I'm suddenly tonight? wide awake. Yeah. Remember last night at work? Shit, it's Saturday? Gary, I'm going to have to buy you a calendar. Gary? Doing that again? I, I don't know. I might have to reconsider my... Gary, don't be like that. Come on. Let's go to the diner tonight. 
Well, what about Tyler? Huh? What about Tyler? What about Tyler? He's an asshole and I'm over it. Oh. You're over it? Yeah, I mean, we've been fighting a lot lately, you know? And I promise this isn't a rebound kind of thing. Pick me up at seven, okay? Did that just happen? Is Tyler dead? I'm dreaming. No, how can... She really doesn't care about him. Is it possible he isn't? No, he is. I have to call Xander. Holy shit. I have a fucking date tonight. No, I don't know. Tell him if he wants some sign he can call Kashinsky and Lane with me. Yeah, all right, bye. So, what's happening on Calmet? Dead drug dealer kid. Took one to the chest in his living room, most likely an armed robbery. They pulled out a gun, bang, bang, he's dead. Yeah, okay. Uh, the landlord said the silent alarm was tripped at 241. Yeah, that's that until uh, forensics gets back to me. So that's that. Bill, how can What you... about Elliot and Ryan? Shouldn't they have been doing their first rounds at 241? Elliot and Ryan? Those two assholes handed in their badges three days ago after Seymour got shot. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Yeah, no shit. IA's gonna be all over here in a couple days. Andy, did you get that trace? Yeah, I... You run a profile? Yeah, it's right. Dick. Are you crazy, man? Are you fu Are you fucking kidding me? You've got to be kidding me. Tell me you're joking. No, man. It's cool, though. She, she said she's done with him. So you just feel safe to assume that she'll never talk to him again. Man, it's not like I fucking killed him and then went and knocked on her door and said, Hey, I just blew your boyfriend's fucking brains out. What are you doing later? Still, though. Look, man. I know it's weird. But I'm still going. Look, it's cool, alright? I've known this girl for a long time. You don't know me. Not yet, apparently. I really have nothing to lose, and at this point, maybe I really do want the worst to happen. Fucking lunatic. Baby, I know, I'm sorry. It's just a couple of days, I promise. I know, I know, but it's my aunt, I really can't. Baby, I gotta go. I know, I'll call you real soon, okay? Love you. I had no idea what to expect. I hadn't really known Naomi since high school, and that felt like eons ago. Who the fuck are you? So, Garrett, what's 
the mysterious man across the street been up to these days? Mysterious man across the street? Yeah, I would say so. I never see you anymore. I don't know. I haven't been doing much. You know, since my parents died, I got the inheritance and I haven't really had to worry about money. Well, that's not so bad. And you have a diploma, so I'm sure it won't be hard for a guy like you to find a job. Yeah, that diploma was the best idea I ever had. Garrett, stop. You've got it easy. Have you ever been in a fight? Fight? Yeah, sure, I've been in plenty. Really? You don't seem like the fighting type to me. Yeah, no, remember uh, in high school, Mark Donnery at prom? Oh my god, I forgot about that. Yeah, I, I guess you're kind of scrappy. Yeah, I used to get in a lot of fights. I think it started after I was six, you know, but dad got out of the hospital. Why was he in the hospital? Sorry, I... Oh, no, 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 it's not a big deal, you know. It's kind of mental thing, you know, nothing, nothing serious. Why do you ask? No reason, really. There's gotta be a reason. No, I, I don't know. Did he hit you? Did, Tyler? No, 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 Tyler never hit me. It's, it's nothing like that. It's, it's stupid, really. But it is something. Come on, you can tell me. It's embarrassing. I kind of got robbed. What? Holy shit, are you okay? No, I'm fine. It's nothing like that. It's just, I was moving into my apartment and I had this bag that had everything I absolutely needed in it. A small safe, pictures of my parents, and I left it out in the hallway for like three minutes. Jesus Christ. Well, what kind of fucking world do we live in where people can just take shit that doesn't belong to them? Yeah, it just sucks, you know? Like, I know I forgot it, but it was like three, four minutes tops. Did you see who took it? Well, that's the thing. I ran to the window after to see, and I saw some guy getting into his car with my bag. Did you get the license plate? I did. Here. Oh. Well, that's great. And I had my detective friend run the plate number, and he found out where they live. 117 Piper Lane. Yeah. Well, now that the detective has done his detectiving, don't the cops get involved, get your bag back? Apparently not. My friend knocked on the door and the guy denied everything. I guess without a search warrant or whatever, they can't really do anything. Home in the free land of the brave. Yeah, he said I could take it up in small claims court, but I don't have that kind of time or money. My whole savings was in that bag. Say no more. I'll get it back for you. Garrett, no, I wasn't serious. Look, it's not a problem, really. I. Just go down there, poke around, see what I can find. It's no big deal. Garrett, th these guys could be dangerous. They could have dogs or guns or... Or, you know, a trap door into a shark tank. Garrett, I'm serious. Listen, Naomi, I'm a little ashamed to admit I've dealt with this kind of situation before. Trust me, there's nothing these dicks can throw at me that I can't handle. Garrett, I couldn't ask you to do this, but if you did, you would be my hero. It's no big deal, really. Justice must be served. I just hope it's all still together. You know what? If you let me get a lady home tonight, I'll have your bag for you in the morning. Carry your lifesaver. Where are they? Jesus, fuck! Where the fuck are they, Naomi? Who the fuck are you? I'm the one who put in all the work. I'm the one who's gonna be doing the collecting. Now, where the fuck are they? You? You did the cutting. Where the fuck are they? I know you're Elliot's bitch. I've seen you two together. Fuck you. And I've seen you turn right around with your boy Tyler. Tyler Doggerty, sound familiar? They fucked me. They cut me out of the deal, so excuse me if I can't tell you where the fuck it is. You expect me to believe that shit? From here, a 45 caliber round will blow the back of your head clean off. Now where the fuck is it? You think if I knew where it was, I would still be here? In this fucking city, this fucking armpit. But if you find those two... Enough! Where's the fucking bag? I don't know. I told you, I don't know where it is. Please don't. He's still not answering. 
I didn't know what I was going to say to Xander after what happened to Tyler and now this. I can just see the look on his face. There is something seriously wrong with you. I hope you know that. Come on, man. It's one last job. One last hurrah. I swear, man, after that it's done. I mean it. There's something seriously wrong with you. And after we're done, you can go back to doing... I don't have time for this, Xander. Whatever it is that you do. Naomi's waiting. And that's another thing. This girl, man, she... This isn't right. She's just over Tyler, and now she wants you to get her stolen bag. Look, man, I know her. You know her. We've known her since we were tiny. Remember, we used to build sand forts when uh, my dad and Uncle Mike and her dad would go hunting together? I'm going to do this. I don't have a choice. But I want you to know that you need help. Yeah. I need help like I need a hole in the head. Pick up your fucking phone. Yo, man. What's with that? You haven't been answering your phone lately. You never know who's on the other end. Hey, baby, if you get this, call me back. There's been a change of plans. Shit. Shit. You bring your mask? Yeah, yeah. I brought a different one this time. Huh. Where'd you get it? Nowhere. Fine, asshole, if that's how you want to be. If you're ready to put it on, then we'll be there soon. Fuck the masks, man. What? Why? Oh. Nobody fucking move! Move and you're fucking dead. Put your hands on your head. Interlace your fingers. I said interlace your fucking fingers! Garrett, stop! What the fuck? About fucking time. Garrett, wait. What the fuck is going on? Naomi, what the hell? There's been I a mistake. Naomi. Sorry, babe. Sometimes I think about life. Ryan's dead. So is he. Now it's just us. Perfect. Sometimes I think about life and it's really weird. Some of us are born into this world with more luck than others. Some of us get it all handed on a silver platter. The rest of us have to struggle for what we have. It's dog eat dog, and that's okay.
I don't blame her. I don't hate her. I love her. to see what's in the bag. But some of us are just born more lucky than others. <laughs> 